Hi guys, I'm Daisy Leyland, your local and independent estate agent. Today we're on episode four of my local interviews and we are going to see James who owns Josie Interiors Limited in Biddeford. Um, we've come down to the quay though because I just wanted to give you a quick look at the water and how beautiful it is here. It's absolutely lovely today. So let's go and see James but I'll give you a quick look here first. Hi James, thank you for welcoming us to Josie's Interiors. Could you tell us a little bit about the business and where it all began? Yeah, of course. So I opened uh, Josie's Interiors in 2015. Um, I was inspired just by my love of interiors, basically. And I thought there was a real gap in the market in North Devon, particularly where we seem to have a lot of the older style of interior stores and nothing offering that contemporary edge that you see in the likes of Bath, Bristol and London. So I thought we would uh, dive in and offer something a bit different. How have you found it during the pandemic? Have you struggled or have the local community really rallied round? So I launched my website just before we went into the lockdown and thankfully due to us having a really large social media following, um, we've been able to survive the lockdown. We were really, really busy with our website. My whole team were all still working throughout, packing parcels every day and sending out all across the UK. So yeah, luckily we've been really supported by our local community and uh, Instagram followers as well. Amazing, so you're locally based, but you deliver all around the UK? Yeah, so we ship all over the UK. That's all of our products from our beds down to our cushions, literally everything we can ship anywhere in the UK. Your products are amazing. How do you <laughs> pick out what you want to have in the store? I just wouldn't be able to put a, together such an incredible interior design. Thank you. Um, so I literally have always just gone with my heart. So when I go and do my buying, I buy things that I love because I know that if I love it, I know that I can merchandise it really well in store and I know that my customers are going to love it too. I think just knowing your customer base is so key. Do you have any designers on social media or influencers that you really look up to? I am a huge fan of Abigail O'Hearn. Like, personally, I really love dark interiors and her way that she plays with texture and tone. I absolutely love that. She's definitely a huge inspiration to me in interiors. So top tips for someone who is putting their house together. I know when I did mine, I couldn't find the right kind of stuff and you gave me some really good tips. So have you got any tips for the viewers today? I would say you need to find something that you could start with. You need to start off with one key piece, like your sofa or a dining table, something that you really love and you can just build up from around that. Uh, I think too many people find try to find a colour palette or something like that, but I think you just need to find one key piece that you love and then build off of that. From when you started your business up, have you got three top tips for any budding business person or someone that's looking to start up a side hustle? First tip I would say go for it. I think so many people I know have held off and regretted it by not doing it. Like for myself, I was 21 when I did it and it was a huge step, but I just thought if it doesn't work, I've got my whole life to get over it. Secondly, I would say try and do it off of your own financial back. And thirdly, I would definitely say social media in this day and age plays a huge part in the way your business is gonna grow rapidly. So where can our viewers find you? Yeah, so you can find us on Instagram, we're on Facebook and Twitter as well. Amazing. And you're up on Cooper Street, just in Biddeford? Yes, that's right, yeah. Fantastic. I'll put all the links below, guys. Thanks so much, James. Thank you so much, Daisy. Thank you.